In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and manipulate basic video and audio transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro. But I'm also going to show you why you might want to invest in some transition preset packs as well. All right, so to start the video, we're just going to take a look at the basic kind of drag and drop transition effects that exist within Premiere Pro. And you can find them under your effects panel over here. If you don't see effects, just go over to window and then go down to effects right here. Now, when you click on that, it might actually pop up maybe over here on this panel or somewhere else, but it'll still have these exact same folders. And the only two we're going to be dealing with are audio transitions and video transitions. So if you click on this little triangle thing, that'll drop down the menu to see what transitions exist in there. So for audio, you can see that there's really under crossfade here, there's only constant gain, constant power and exponential fade. So there's not much. And this blue box, this just means that constant power is kind of like your regular base, like fade in, fade out for audio. If we go down to video transitions and click this one, you can see there's many more options. And each of these folders has a bunch of other options within them. So if I open up dissolve, you'll see that there's a bunch in there. And for video, you can see this blue box means that cross dissolve is the basic like fade in, fade out for video. Now, in order to apply your transitions to your footage, all you have to do is click on the transition that you want and drag it to the spot that you want. But if you notice here, I can't drag this audio one up here because these are my video layers above this kind of dark gray line right here. But I can drag it below because these are my audio clips down here. And if you notice right now, I can drag it right between where two clips meet and that'll have it fade from one clip to the other but I can also have it slant towards one side here, like put it to one side or the other. I can put it at the start of a clip to fade it in or at the end to fade it out. So I'm just gonna drop this one in right there. So you can see that we can also click on it once it's in and move it left and right to wherever we want or even go to the edge here and shrink it down to make the transition happen quicker or expand it out so the transition takes longer. I'm going to go up here and drag a cross dissolve onto the video side so we can start seeing what that looks like. So this is the regular cross dissolve. If I click to the edge here and expand it out, you'll see this now takes longer for the transition for the fade to happen. And if I click here, I can shrink it down so it'll happen really, really quick. On a side note, if you make your transition too small that you can't go and access it with that red thing again, like not this one with the arrow, that just means you're adjusting the actual clip, not the transition. So if you can't get in there to adjust the transition, just make sure to put the blue line around where the transition is and then go down to this little circle thing, click on it and slide it to the left. That'll help you zoom right in so you can see closer and then you can adjust the transition again or just click plus or minus on your keyboard. And besides being able to manipulate your transitions right here on the timeline, like I just showed you, if you click on them, you'll open up a new set of options over here in effect controls. If you don't see effect controls, again, go to window and then down to effect controls. For this cross dissolve transition, you can see there's not very much. And if we go to alignment, really all you're doing is right now it's center at cut. If I go start at cut, you can see it moved over to where I showed you, you can just move it before or end at cut, we'll move it to this side, which again, we can just do by clicking on it and moving it here as well. But if I get rid of cross dissolve and drag in a different one, so I'm gonna go into slide and bring in push, you'll see that now when we click on this transition, you can see that we have many more options that we can mess with now, including which direction the push happens. So if I click here, we can see the preset push is just left to right. So one clip pushes the other one out of the way. If I click back on the push transition, I can now click right up top here to go from north to south. So the push is gonna happen from top to bottom. If you click on it, we can also go from the bottom to the top and also from the right to the left. If we go down here, we can also add a border to it if we want. So border width, I'm just gonna crank that up a little bit and then you'll see that when we watch now there's going to be a border that exists between the two clips that are involved in the push transition so just remember that each transition might have their own set of options to mess with so for example if i go down to wipe and maybe we go to random blocks here so if i drag that one on this is the preset so kind of like a little digital transition there but if i click on random blocks 
you can see a lot of the same options, but if we go down here, we can now have a custom button. And if you click on that, this just allows us to determine how many blocks we're gonna have wide and then how many high. So I'm gonna maybe make it like 30 by 25 instead. So if I click OK, you can see the size of the blocks change to be smaller. So now when we watch, it looks much different than it did before. And then obviously we can add any of these to the start or end of our clips to have them, you know, fade in or fade out as well, including music. So if I drag cross dissolve to the start here, maybe I do push to the end and then a constant power to the end of this song, maybe just shrink it down and have the transition go slower for the music out. And then we just listen to this right here. Well, so. folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. You can see here it's going to push out to black, and the song will fade out too. All right, so now let me show you how to use some transition preset packs to make your transitions look way better. And trust me, it's super easy. I'm going to use these ones over here from Savage Effects. I have links to their stuff in the description below. I have the All Transitions pack burning paper transitions and glass shatter transitions. And there's actually two different types of transitions in here. So I'm gonna start with all transitions and you can see there's glitch, you know, lens, light leaks, motion, RGB, a bunch of different things. And similar to our basic transitions, when we drop these down, you're gonna see more options. So I'm gonna go into motion here and then motion and into transitions. So you can see within there, there's motion one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and they're actually sequences. So when we double click on any of them, so let's just say motion three, I double click, it's gonna open up a sequence over here. If you do see this like media offline thing, that's just their kind of sample images that they provide, so we don't actually need those. You're gonna click over to the side here and highlight all the other pieces, and these are all adjustment layers. Then you're gonna go up to edit, copy or control C, go back to your main sequence, lock the layer that has your video clips on it currently, and then click over here and paste them on. So now we just have to highlight them again and line up the cuts. So the cuts line up right here. Now when we watch it, that transition is gonna be applied to these clips. If it doesn't show up like that, I've noticed that you can drag these up and then unlock this, bring this one up to its own layer, and now it will play. It'll stretch that one out and boom, a nice smooth transition that you basically had to do nothing to get. The other type of transition preset that you might run into are ones that require a track mat key effect. So that's like these burning paper ones and these glass shattering ones over here. So I'm just gonna drop down burning paper so you can see that it's actually just a regular video clip. So when we double click it, it's gonna show up up here and it just looks like a regular fire burning clip. So since it has video and audio, you can see here, I'm gonna drag from here and place it above my clips right here. Now for these ones, you have to make sure that the clip is the right size, is the right resolution. So I can tell that if I look here, this one, it looks different than this. This looks much bigger. That's because this is a 4K video and these ones are 1080. So whenever you drag in one of these, make sure you right click on it and go to set to frame size right here. And that'll resize it to be whatever the video clip is. Okay, then we have to stretch these clips out so they span the complete duration of the transition video here. So this one I'm gonna go right to the edge there and this one I'm gonna stretch this out so it goes right to this side. Then all we have to do is go up to our effects, type in track mat and then find track mat key drag this onto your top clip so not the transition clip but your top clip drop it on there click on that clip go up to effect controls and then slide down to where it says track mat key and then change the mat here from none to whatever video layer the transition is on so in this case it's on video three so i'm going to go into mat and go from none to video three, and you can see that tracked it to the transition layer right here. Then we just have to click on it and then hold Alt or Option on a Mac, drag up to make a copy, and then on the copy layer, we're gonna go over to our blend mode and change it from normal to screen, and that's just gonna keep some of the flames and stuff in it over here. So now when we watch it, 
we're gonna see the flames coming in first and then it's gonna separate to the other clip underneath. And that's it. That's how you add and manipulate basic video and audio transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.